Right then, if you were tuning into last night's show, you'll have heard us celebrating big time the 20th anniversary of Balamori. Bye. Wouldn't you like to know? Ah, oh, great theme tune. Still slaps. Twenty years on, the iconic children's TV show, and we had Penny Pocket on the show last night. It's caused it's caused raucous behaviour in the BBC Radio WM office. Everybody's been reminiscing about Balamori, so we want to continue the celebrations tonight and. Boy, have I got the perfect people to do that with. We're having a Balamori party here. I'm I'm going to hand this over to these incredible women. I think we need an appropriate fanfare. First of all, caller number one. Your name is Juliet, but what's your real name? Oh, I'm Edie McCready from Balamori and I drive the Daisy bus. <laughs> so, Edie McCready, and we also have Julie, but we, we don't know you as Julie. You know me as Miss Hooley. Hang on here. What's the story in Balamori? <laughs> ah, it's Miss Hooley and Edie McCready! Oh my gosh, we're getting the band back together! <laughs> oh, fabulous. Hello, oh, Miss Hooley. Hi, Juliet. Hi, Juliet, darling. <laughs> shall I just shall I leave you two to it because this is just a, a perfect opportunity for you two to catch up well you're saying that but we're very good friends and we see each other a lot we love each other very much don't we Cadsy we do indeed we do indeed <laughs> and we've had happy times uh, on uh, filming Balamori didn't we in fact can you remember when we went to Iceland that was quite a oh. trip wasn't it yeah, we, we were so lucky we got to go to Iceland because Edie McCready was taking us on this adventure. And it was actually <laughs> one of my favourite episodes. And we got lucky enough to be taken to Iceland. And boy, oh boy, did we have a laugh. Remember we had to travel on the plane in character? Well, not in character, but in our costumes. It was so <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> oh, see, this is, this is the type of scoops that I, I wanted to get on the show today. I want to know about the behind-the-scenes shenanigans. I want to know about the silliness. I want to know what was going on. I, I want all the, the juicy gossip, ladies. So what were the oh, highlights? No, no, no. <laughs> Go on. Well, we're not kissing and telling on your show. That is not happening. <laughs> OK, OK. Well, were there, some, were there some romances going on on the Balamori Island? Um, I don't think so. Was it? Well, we would never tell you if there was, but me and Juliet, um, when we're talking about going to Iceland, and I'll say it now because I've had two glasses of champagne because I'm having a, a high tea um, up in St Andrews just now for my birthday, which was in May, and we had some, we were dressed as the characters on the plane. Is this all right to tell this, Juliet? And, Go for um, it. <laughs> Basically, the crew and their director were at the back and we got upgraded because we were in our costumes. And let's just say that the drinks kept flowing. And then we didn't realise when we landed in Reykjavik, we had to film. So if you watch that episode, um, Edie McCready and Miss Hooley are a little bit blurry-eyed, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all coming out now. So Balamori was just one big party. Um, well, it was because when we filmed, you know, when we went to Tobermory and, and uh, on the island of Mull, which was the backdrop for uh, with all those lovely coloured houses, um, it was quite a riot, really, there, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But because we never realised at the time we would be away from our families and stuff, and actually that was really good because we sort of all bonded. I think we were going to bond anyway, but because we were all, most of us are from Glasgow, um, and then we went out to, to Mull, so we. We bonded really quickly because of that, I think, didn't we, Juliet? And there was a yeah. lot of lock-ins in the, the, the famous pub we called the Niche Niche. <laughs> we basically drank our wages in there. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, I mean, I need um, to go on a night out with the Balamorians because it just sounds oh, it sounds insane. We have fun, have, Henry. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, 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 we would. There was a band there. Do you remember that, Juliet? There was a band at the time called the Mull Historical Society. Yeah. It was a sort of, sort of um, cool indie band. And they were playing in the town hall in Tobermory. And we got invited along. And, um, yeah, we had a, a bit of a raucous night. And Miles Jupp, <laughs> who plays Archie, it's one of his fondest memories. <laughs> he still goes on about it. 
and there's photos of us down the front jumping about. Somebody's got them somewhere. Yeah, we we knew how to enjoy ourselves. We <laughs> certainly bet. did. We certainly did. Archie, um, the inventor. Archie, yes. the inventor, Miles Jupp. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, he's a he's a he's a riot. He's in love a with great. Juliet Cato. He always has been. And he always will be. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? So Archie the Inventor has a secret crush on on Yeah, who? there's no se- there's no secret about it, Juliet. Oh. Uh, on Edie McCready, yeah. Sorry, yeah, Edie McCready. Yeah. That's 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 your name, not Juliet. Uh, Forget that. We, not we, we know we my, know you my, by <laughs> by your personas. My son, my son said to said to my husband David. He said, uh, "Dad, is is Miles in love?" With mummy, <laughs> and, <laughs> and David said, "Yes, but it's nothing to worry about." <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't worry about Archie. He's too busy making stuff out of yogurt pots. Yeah, he now has. My husband's mind is saying he's now married to a beautiful lady called Rachel, and they have five children together. But the, the candle still burns bright for Edie McCready date stroke Juliet Cancer. <laughs> Before we stir the pot anymore. Ladies, um, let's talk about the children's show that you uh, that you were on back in the day. I mean, it's legendary. When I said before that the office was in cahoots, I mean, they really were. Everybody was Aww. reminiscing about Balamori and, and really getting into Aww. it. And, and one of my favourite parts of chatting to Penny Pocket yesterday was how Aww. she said that they got a... The show got a student following from from the Hangover yeah. crew and the early morning <laughs> crew. So it hit yeah. so many people, parents, students, children, and now it's it's back on iPlayer and it must just be a little bit heartwarming, I guess, to to still feel the love from this show, right? It's, well, it's, I was watching it the other night, you know, and I, and I just thought, you know, how it really has stood the test of time. Mm. Um and um, actually, what really struck me was how complicated it is. It looks so simple, but in actual mm. fact, Brian Jimison created something really very uh, complicated in a way, didn't he? You know, with all the colours, with all the weather things, with all the, you know, activities that the children were doing. And, you know, it was, it, you know, terrific uh, piece of work. Yeah, I, I think you're right. It is more complicated than, than I thought as well. And, and but something about it just worked. And I'm truly saying this. It's it was, it's very very touching. All of this is it's making me quite emotional. Um, thinking about it, the, the amount of people, as you see, that that loved it, and then kids that watched it then have grown up and went on to have their own families now as well. And the yeah. kids that we filmed with, they come up to us in Glasgow. Um, there's, there's a skating park in Glasgow, and I've met so many of them grown up and their students and stuff and. And Kim's right as well, the amount of letters we got from students who were supposed to be at uni and they stayed back and watched Balamori and all of that. And then the excitement now is a whole new generation of kids will watch that and the iPlayer and thinking, oh gosh, it's all going to start again. How lovely. Yeah, um, yeah we're, we're just really blessed to have been part of it. I think um, it was such a, a lovely, special time for us all, wasn't it, Juliet? It it's was magical. indeed uh, uh, very magical, very and uh, yeah, proud to have been part of something so special. Well, yeah. ladies, I feel like this is just all building up to a Balamori reunion, right? I mean, this could be the biggest <laughs> reunion ever. It'd yeah. be bigger than I mean, if Oasis got back together. Oasis yeah, well. would have nothing on Balamori. <laughs> it's weird though because you think like bands have got back together and I was saying that the other day going, but we kind of were like a band um, you know sadly um, and Mary Riggins has passed away she played um, Susie Sweet in yeah, the course. shop with Kim um, but you kind of go our gang could get back together and you know it's like you see the Rolling Stones doing it thinking maybe why not I'd be up for it with you Juliet Definitely, absolutely. <laughs> I could slide down that pole again, no bother. <laughs> Edie McCready, I always knew you were a sauce pot. Oh, dear. Um, right, be- before I let you both go, I mean, I could talk to you for absolutely hours because you're a Aww. hoot and I'm coming on a night out with you two. In, in, yes, do. In Balamori Land. It, Henry. I do in my dreams, ladies, most nights. Um, I think I, I definitely will this evening, now you've mentioned that poll. Um, before I let you go, though, Miss Hooley, I yes. told my mum that I was going to be talking to you. She She's a regular on my show, and she oh. was absolutely buzzing, which again just shows the, the generations oh. that this show's touched. She said something to me, and I've got to ask you, 
about sure. your hair. That hair <laughs> was iconic yeah. with the little curly the bits flex. at the end. Yeah. I, I yeah. want to know, is that your hair every day? If it's not, then it should be. And and how do you get your hair looking like that, Miss Hooley? So uh, that wasn't just me that came up with that. That was an amazing makeup girl, Irene. And I love the band Delight. And the singer in Delight, as you'll probably remember, was Lady Keir. And that song was out at the time, Grooves in the Heart. And I was obsessed with her. And it was just like a bob at the time. that You'll see it in the early episodes. It's just straight down bob. And one day she was playing about my hair. And she curled it kind of by mistake. And I said, oh, I like that. That looks like that girl from Delight. So she started to do it with a tong. So I tell your mum that she can do it really easily. You just pull the tong down. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I'm sure my mum will be delighted. Now she knows how to to crack the yeah. Miss Hooley look, which is just iconic. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to let you go, ladies. Enjoy your uh, your high tea and champagne, and um, you. and your 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 future nights out together. It's really lovely that you're you're both really close as well. I've just got one last request for you both. Okay. Can we yeah. do the theme tune together? Absolutely. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. On three. One. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Two. Three. What's the story of Balamori? Wouldn't you like to know? Sing it out. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who is this? Who's this kid? What's the story in? I'm in a restaurant. <laughs> if, I, I don't care if you're in a restaurant, Miss Hooley. That'll do. That's the place to <laughs> right, you two are absolutely bonkers. I love you both. Uh, Juliet and Julie, a.k.a. Miss Hooley and Edie McCready. Lots of love. And uh, let's do this again in another 20 years, maybe. Magic. Oh, golly, gee. <laughs> Give it a go. See you later. See you on the Cheers, pole. Bye. 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 Bye.